she organically keeps choosing the wrong men. Every man she like doesn't like her. She's organically attracted to guys that that don't like her. That's not interested in her. It doesn't matter if he's whack. It doesn't matter if he's this, if he's that. It doesn't matter if he's considered a ug mug. It, it doesn't matter. You know what I'm saying? Only thing that matters is that she's able to chase him. Now that she's able to chase him, her interest level keep growing and growing and growing and growing. So she's organically attracted to the wrong guy. She keeps saying men, 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 but every man, a man can be perfect, but if he attracted to her, she look for flaws in him. She's Her mind tells her that if you're coming at me, I must be better than you. And her mind tells her, if you're not trying to come at me, that means that you are better than her. That's interesting, right? I know. I know it's interesting. So you just got to understand that if she keep this up, just like millions before her, She's going to end up hitting the wall and being single. And when she be single, she's going to blame it on the guys, on why she's single. And why it didn't work out for her. She kept giving the best of her to the guys who wasn't paying her any attention. Why it was great guys. Great guys. They're not perfect, but great guys. They came at her, showed her interest, but she constantly found flaws. Constantly. So, you got to understand that it's thousands and thousands of others just like her. That's looking for that which they can't hold. They want a situation like that. I guess it makes them feel alive. As the years go by, as the years go by and they get old, they get old and old and old. And then unable to have kids. Unable to experience true, genuine love. Because you see, constantly seeking year after year. The ones that who, who's not paying her any attention. No matter if they look like this, look like that. While a handsome man over here, a handsome guy over there, showing strong attention. But she's unable to see her flaws, you know, unable to give affection to that which, who deserves it, who deserves the affection, who deserves the attention, constantly gives the best she got to, to the guys that don't really want her, that's not taking her seriously. And uh, she can't quite see that. Very smart, very book smart. You know what I mean? Very book smart, but just can't see that. Missing out on quality guys for no reason. Getting used up. More mileage. Getting used up. So many like that out there. Nobody's perfect, man. But you definitely want to get with... You definitely want to get with that which wants you. 
and you want to get with, you want to appreciate that which wants you. You know what I'm saying? You find yourself being delusional, going after and chasing after somebody who's not interested in you. And you're trying to figure out why I can't get that which seems that I should be able to get. But that what it seems like you can't get, that's kind of too good to be true, but still imperfect. Rather give, rather dismiss that, rather dismiss that and give a chance to that which is running away or neglecting or, or ignoring you. That's the type of world we live in. A lot of people want what they can't have, so they'll never have what they want, what they say they want. So, it's just the type of world we live in. But once the wall continues to hit, as she gets closer to the wall, she will start getting more down to earth. She will start saying she just want love and companionship will use statements as statements like I want to grow I want to grow with a man I want somebody to love me for me and now that stuff's starting to sag and get loose now you want somebody to love you for you but you was leaving great men for small reasons was leaving great men. These great men for small reasons. It happens every day. All the time. Some of you guys out there can relate. You look in the mirror and you say, ain't nothing wrong with you. Attractive guy. Working hard. May not be rich, but you're working hard. You got to aim. You got some kind of focus there. Got a lot of love, you're in shape, you're young. But then you find out a lot of women are dismissing you. And there's nothing you've really done. There's nothing you've done wrong. Sometimes it's just you can't be controlled. Sometimes it's just The sigma male in you, the alpha male in you. Sometimes it's just your desire gives her no room for seduction. Your desire for her gives her gives her no room for seduction. They get more kick out of coming at you. Then they kick out of you coming at them. Even if they allow you, even if they choose to be with you, the fact that they feel like they already got you, it don't brings out the best in them. But it's sad. Thousands are gonna hit the wall this year. Thousands have already hit the wall. A perfect situation for a lot of ones like her is to have a to, is to have a man that don't know his worth. That's attractive. And for Big Blicky. And a um in big pockets. That's the perfect situation for ones like her. It's sad, but by you being a guy, bro, 
You could be like Lionel Richie, 71 with a 30 year old woman. Because in reality, as you can see, men never hit the wall. It just keep going up. All we got to do is have a little bit of green in our pocket. Have a garden in our pocket. And then you, too, can have the pick of your choice of all ages. Even if it's fake, at least you can get it. But nobody is searching for the evil witch of the West. You know who I am. Alan Williams, the real now. I am Alan Williams, the real now. Hit that like, subscribe, and follow. Don't forget to hit the bell so you can see the next video. Why? Because the next video is for you. Reunion Nation, we out. Remember I love you, but Jesus Christ love you more.